Builders, I am Sadim Khan today back with a new topic and today I will explain to you the kinetic energy and we will come to know about whether what is this kinetic energy. Since we know I picked this topic from the chapter work energy and power and we will be discussing about it today. So first of all how shall I miss uh, we have to first of all explain the kinetic energy okay we need to know about whether what is kinetic energy so for knowing that we can define as the energy stored in any object that is moving that is in motion okay any kind of motion so that kind of energy is called a kinetic energy it's like potential energy we have studied kinetic many kinds of energy we have studied but kinetic energy is that kind of energy which is stored in any object during its motion let us take it an example imagine i have any ball okay here i am making a ball okay imagine i have this ball and this ball mass is m i am th throwing this ball this side i am throwing this ball this side so uh, with any certain velocity let us imagine the velocity is v so i am throwing this ball this side with a certain velocity that is v and the mass of the ball i have given the information is m so here we can say that here uh, first of all i am telling to you that the ball was at rest then here i have a okay i must have applied any force then here velocity occurred after some time after some time okay what will happen since we know that ball will reach here of course it will reach okay ball mass was m okay here imagine we have a okay we have a constant velocity then here ball mass is m so here what we can see in this case after some time ball came in motion after some time ball came in motion and after that what happened there must have come some energy inside the ball so that the ball came in motion and that kind of energy of any object that is moving that is in motion is called the kinetic energy of the object so here which energy the ball uses to move okay when the ball is started moving so which energy was was stored in this ball was called the kinetic energy just like let us take one example just like whenever i am writing anything just like kinetic energy i am writing so here we can see when i am writing kinetic energy so this tip of the marker is moving when the tip of the marker moves okay tip of marker is moving since we know marker mass is m okay a marker tip mass okay let us imagine anything let it to be m and here it is moving means it will be in motion while i am writing with this so then we can see that when this will be moving so by any energy it will be moving and that energy of the tip of the marker is called the kinetic energy of the tip of the marker okay so that's it this we got what is kinetic energy but imagine i am asking to you the value of kinetic energy okay value of this kinetic energy present in this ball then how will we explain so value for kinetic energy can be defined as k, k e means kinetic energy is equals to half m v square k equals to half m v square this is very important equation we need to also learn it k equals to half m v square now how half m v square since we know i imagine the mass of the ball to be m the velocity of the ball to be okay v since we know velocity vector quantity okay it is a vector quantity so i here wrote a arrow over velocity to represent that velocity is a vector quantity if i have not put this arrow so here what would we get that here we would get a speed but i have to take the velocity so here is the okay magnitude of that velocity i am putting the value of that velocity i am putting so it's a square i am doing multiplied with half m so finally what we got kinetic energy is equals to half mv square okay now question arises and a very important and nice question that how we came to know that the kinetic energy is equals to half mv square how we came to know about that just like scientists must have formulated this using other formulas then how they did it okay let us uh, learn about it and okay first of all then let me rub this okay then so first of all now we'll be going to drive this equation that is k equals to half mv square so for that first of all forget this equation forget this equation k equals to half mv square and just only we need to know this since we know imagine any particle okay any particle here i am putting and i am applying a constant force on that particle and when i am applying since we know initially the particle suppose that the initially particle was at rest means 
this initial velocity of the particle I have taken to be zero. Then uh, here in this direction any force I am applying on the particle and the f displacement occurred by the particle is also in this direction. Means I am doing any work over the particle. And later what I am saying since we know forces applied displacement occurred. Then what we can say that what will be the value of work done in this case. Since we know W equals to F dot S and here what is the angle between a force and displacement since we know force is also applied here and displacement also occurs here what is the angle zero degree so which is equals to fs cos zero degree now since we know cos zero degree what is value of cos zero degree that is one so which is equals to one into fs that is fs so work done what is that is work done is fs so work done in this case we have got according to work energy theorem now what is work energy theorem since we know uh, maybe you have studied maybe you haven't studied so briefly let me explain to you the work energy theorem okay means its main point which is used in kinetic energy Okay, work energy theorem. So, mainly the work energy theorem says to us mainly that the work done over any particle is equals to the change of the kinetic energy of that particle. Change of the kinetic energy of a particle is equals to the Ke final minus Ke initial. This is the final kinetic energy of the particle minus initial kinetic energy of the particle. That is delta Ke. So, work energy theorem states that W equals to delta Ke. This is the explanation of work energy theorem this we got so here since we already know work equals to force into displacement now here we know that a work equals to delta ke so according to this we can write implies that the delta ke delta ke is also equals to fs why it is equals to fs since we know w equals to fs which is equals to delta ke implies that delta ke is also equals to the fs this we got now here what we can say if we want we can all we can okay means expand this equation more so only what we have to do what is the value of force and what is the value of displacement since I said to you let that force be F let the displacement okay that occurred of the particle be S so how shall we put the values how should how can we put the values so remember okay two equations will be used right here so first equation, remember the second law of motion, Newton's second law, that is F equals to MA, okay. So here MA can be put at the place of S, F, of course. Remember another equation, S equals to UT plus half AT square. This was the equ second equation of motion, of course, this was the second equation of motion. Since you have already learned about equations of motion, so this is the second one. So S equals to UT plus half AT square. UT plus half AT square will be putting at the place of S. Okay, S it will come out. Now only what we have to do. Since this is very long equation. If we want here we can make this equation short. Because I said that initially the particle is at, is at rest. So I said to you imagine about such a particle which is at rest and of constant force is applied. Then the particle came in motion. Means initial velocity what was? Was zero because it was already at rest so in initial velocity zero so which is equals to zero t plus half a t square zero into t is zero and zero plus half a t square is half a t square this we got half a t square now only what we have to do we have to substitute the values of okay force and this displacement and later we'll get our final answer implies that the delta ke is equals to what so first of all force value ma so ma can we put here can we write here ma why because force and ma are same so at the place of force will be writing ma it is very simple so now into now into what first of all s then s value we have half a t square so half a t square okay this we got oh, okay of course we got now which is equals to what this will be multiply so half m now a into a a square 
t square half m a square t square this value we got but our what was our equation kinetic uh, okay energy is equals to since we know half m v square this was of course half m v square then how here half a square t square came okay so that's the question so remember one equation of motion since we know here we use second so now we'll be using first equation of motion what was first equation of motion v equals to u plus a t okay this was the first equation of motion this is the second equation of motion and the third equation was uh, of motion was v square equals to u square plus 2 a x where x is the displacement of the particle or if we want then s we can write so here this we have to use first of all v equals to u plus a t what was u what is initial velocity in this case zero so which is equals to zero plus a t a t now here we can see v equals to a t then what is v square implies that the v square equals to a square t square it's very simple so v square equals to a square t square now here is also a square t square so only what we have to do to make this equation shorter so only to make this equation shorter we'll be putting the value of a square t square in this equation which is equals to v square then which is equals to half first of all here mass now a square t square then that is v square so finally what we got half mv square what was our equation half mv square so final equation that we are getting implies that the kinetic energy on the particle is equals to the half mv square so final equation what we got kinetic energy over the particle is half mv square and we also learned okay about this equation today in this video and we learned about kinetic energy in this video and we learned to drive the okay formula for kinetic energy so always this okay this equation will be always very useful to us kinetic energy equals to half mv square in, in maximum cases this formula we can apply and find out our answer so this was my today's topic about kinetic energy thank you